Are you tired of the same dull college routine? Are you getting burned out from test after test? Let me guess. You're ready to take a break. I'm gonna let you on on a little secret that may very well change your life. You see, I know how it is. I've been in your shoes where you question your future and you're just looking to get away. Well, I'm gonna let you know of a rare opportunity that many students do not get, and like I said, this may very well change your life. Sometimes I think it's good to get out of your comfort zone, to expand your knowledge and get a better depth of understanding of, of the world around us as opposed to this bubble we've created for ourselves. Now be honest with me, does any of this look exciting to you? Don't you want to live your life like an A-list celebrity? <laughs> experience and your opportunity of a lifetime, but your cultural diversity will broaden as well. According to NBA.com, your exposure to a new culture will allow you to gain a broad and sophisticated worldview and diversify your thoughts and values. Welcome to Peru. As you can see in the background, this train is headed to Machu Picchu. We're going to be catching the next one today. With Tensis, we are able to study abroad in these beautiful places like this that's so affordable. The grants that are there give us, you can't, make, you can't beat it. So, expanding our cultural diversity helps us later on in life so we can understand and deal with other people. We'll see you on the other side. There have been rumors in the past few years that tourism will be cut off from Machu Picchu, disallowing any visitors to go and see the ancient wonder that is Machu Picchu. But thanks to this great interview with this outstanding tour guide, we got some real juicy details on some information that I think you might find very interesting. Um, we were talking about in our class earlier that they're thinking about reducing the amount of visitors to 500 per day in the future. Uh, a year ago, the limit was 2,500 people per day okay. because there was a risk about putting Machu Picchu into uh, a very not good group by the UNESCO okay. because of the erosion of this place. But UNESCO came last year and they checked that the government create new places, new new trails, mm -hmm. new circuits. So they put a new limit and there's not this risk anymore. Okay. The new limit is almost 6,000 per day. Per day. Yeah. Okay. Outstanding. Okay. As you can see from the conversation with Jonathan, at Machu Picchu, one of the seven world wonders will be available for future tennis classes. We have to thank Teresa Castillo, the director for the Peru Capstone, for not only organizing the program, but getting incredible tour guides like Jonathan at Machu Picchu, Marie Isabella in Cusco, and Vanessa in Lima. You'll be in great hands under her guidance. It's seriously just unimaginable the possibilities of studying abroad. I mean, you meet great people, you see wonderful sights that you couldn't get anywhere else in the world, and the food, oh man, the food is killer. One famous local dish native to Cusco, Peru is cuy, aka guinea pig. I was blessed with the opportunity to try Cui thanks to our tour guide Maria, who told us of this restaurant named La Cusconita. It was delicious. In addition to great food, you can also enjoy the local music. You can hang out with the locals. You can take a ride on a train. Or you could even visit one of the wonders of the modern world. Can you believe Machu Picchu stretches over five miles in distance? That's according to history.com. No way. I was honestly kind of scared to take that first step into studying internationally. You know, I didn't know anybody and everybody was practically a stranger to me. 
these strangers actually became friends. That's what's kind of neat about studying internationally is you get these unexpected relationships. <laughs> relationships that really could last a lifetime. The website ivypanda.com doesn't only say that people who study abroad develop new friendships, but it says that 94% of students who study internationally develop better communication skills with people with differing backgrounds. Something that stuck with me throughout my study abroad trip in Peru was when our tour guide Vanessa in Lima described that Peru is a nation of contrast. And I thought that was a great analogy to studying abroad. She said it was a contrast of urban and rural ways of life. This can be compared to your study abroad experience in general, the yin and yang, the complete contrast of your own regular everyday life back home. Well, there you have it, folks. We've talked about ancient ruins of Machu Picchu. We've talked about the beach. We've talked about guinea pig. We've talked about Jonathan. We've talked about music, all sorts of really fun stuff. But you want to know the best part about this entire thing? The opportunity is there for you. You have the opportunity to do this. And guess what? It's affordable and available for you. So it not only has it affected my life, but it's affected some fellow classmates' lives as well. Let's see what they have to say about it. There you guys have it. So pretty much we're going to tell you how we feel about it. Sedona, how has this trip affected you? So. It's been an experience of a lifetime, and I can say it'll definitely affect my future because this is just the start of it, guys, and I cannot wait to travel more. Thank you, Sedona. And David, what, what is your opinion? How do you feel about this? How has it affected you personally? Well, number one, it, it knocked off a bucket list item for me, so something I want to do before I die, which is probably not too far off. I'm going to hold But, uh, no, it just reinforces the, the need for, for me to continue experimenting expanding my uh, okay. cultural diversity. It really, it really does help out with that, I really think so. And you know, this option is available for you, and if you are interested in All you gotta do is get a hold of the Director of International Studies at Columbia State, Dr. Delaney, or you could just get on the Tensus website itself and look up the information there. So get out of that daily college humdrum. Take a chance, take a leap of faith. What are you waiting for? The world is waiting for you.